the gateway to the west. I'm sorry guys, my lens just does not have a wide enough angle to get this whole thing in one shot. It is absolutely enormous. It has got to be one of my favorite things in the entire country though. It's almost mind-blowing to stand up close to it and see it in person. Just realized I am totally in a bunch of people's selfies who are taking pictures with the arch while I'm talking to a camera like a crazy person in the background. I've actually been to St. Louis once before about 10 years ago, but the last time I was here was like a really crappy day outside and I didn't really get to enjoy walking around the arch, so this is pretty cool. This video is not about St. Louis though. This video is an unboxing and review for Unbound Merino. You may be wondering, like, what the heck is merino wool, why is it important, and what's the point of this video? A lot of people who know me personally know that I tend to get on kicks on things and start to get, like, obsessed with things and get really interested in things and kind of really passionate about them. And for the last year, I've definitely been on a bit of a merino wool kick. Basically, merino wool is a really awesome fabric for making clothes out of, and it does a better job than the traditional cotton or polyester at a lot of different things. Companies like Unbound Merino here have discovered that it really makes the perfect type of clothes for traveling. I'm not a scientist, so I can't tell you the specific reasoning as to why it acts this way, but I can tell you that merino wool does a really good job of handling sweat. It has antimicrobial properties in it so that when you do sweat into it, it doesn't actually smell as bad as, say, cotton or polyester. It takes longer to make a merino wool shirt smell bad than it would with a traditional kind of shirt. It also is really good at being wrinkle resistant, and it regulates body temperature really well. So when it's really hot outside, and you're wearing merino, you're more comfortable, it's more breathable, and when it's really cold, it provides better insulation. This particular company, Unbound, actually got started as like a Kickstarter Indiegogo campaign with the mission of creating and providing shirts for travelers and clothing for travelers. Basically, so that when you go and you travel for two or three weeks at a time, you don't have to bring an entire suitcase with you, you can just fit a small amount of clothing with you in a small backpack, not have to worry about doing long laundry and be able to just basically keep wearing the same shirts every day over and over again while you're on the road. And for me, that really goes well with my goals, which are to try to live out of this 35 liter backpack here while I'm traveling around the country living full time out of this 35 square foot house. I want to have as few clothes as possible, so being able to replace, say, 10 cotton shirts with three or four merino wool shirts and be able to go the same amount of time between doing laundry really works well for me. Well, I just got a little interrupted. A local police officer decided to stop directly in front of the element and call in my plates, and I was trying to figure out what the heck he was doing. Apparently, they don't see South Dakota license plates around Springfield, Illinois too often. By the way, that's where I am, for those of you who are following along the journey here. And I just had to go talk to him and explain to him why I was sitting in the element alone in a parking lot talking to myself. All right, so back to the discussion about merino wool. I know what you're probably thinking. If you haven't heard of this before, you're probably thinking that it sounds kind of gross to try to wear a t-shirt for more than one or two days without washing it. And I definitely understand that. When I first found out about merino wool, I was like, there is no way that you can do that. That sounds gross. There's no way that that works. But I decided to go out on a limb and get this shirt at the end of last year from Unbound, and it does really work well. Actually, you know what? Here, let me let me show you. Hey. Hey, Auntie. Hey, how are you? What's good, going good. on? Hey, you're on, you're on camera. Uh, I got a question for you. Yeah. Does my merino wool shirt smell better than my other shirts? Yes, it does. See? Smoking from the girlfriend. 
it actually does smell better. Now I don't want to overpromise and say that you can wear it for like a hundred days in a row and it's never going to smell, but I've worn it for like four or five straight days in New Orleans, hot, humid weather, and on the fifth day is when it kind of started to get to the point where I knew that I needed to throw it in the laundry. That's a heck of a lot better than a traditional cotton or polyester shirt, which I can at the most get two days out of in those same conditions. So the way that I look at it is one of these guys is the equivalent of two or three traditional cotton or polyester shirts in my bag. So last month I decided to reach out to Unbound and let them know that I was really happy with the shirt and I told them that I would be happy to make a video talking about their product and, and talking about it to you guys. I figured that it fits really well with the full-time travel community. It's something to maybe think about. So that's why I'm doing this video by the way. They sent me this box with a couple of other shirts in here. So let's just take a look at it. We're going to unbox it and I'll talk about what I have. So they do a pretty nice job of packaging it all together here. It does come with a little pamphlet here, which talks about the care for your apparel, how to deal with the shirts. Merino is a little bit different, so you gotta be careful with it, obviously, you know. You can wash it in a traditional washer. I've been able to do that with mine since I've had it and haven't really had any issues. Uh, I don't dry it though, I, I'll hang dry it whenever I get the chance. I don't wanna put it in a dryer because I'd be afraid that it would shrink or damage the shirt. They sent me a long sleeve uh, black one here and then they also sent me a gray one. And they also sent me some socks as well. Obviously I just opened this package so I haven't had the chance to test out these socks yet. But I have tried other companies merino wool style socks before and I will say that the shirts it works really really well with but with socks and underwear I find that it's, it's not necessarily as good. Sure it works a little bit but when it comes to traveling like I'm totally okay with just having a full set of socks and a full set of underwear instead of just two pairs of socks and two pairs of underwear just because that actually is a little bit gross. So I guess that pretty much sums it up, at least for the unboxing side of things. I mean, it's it's just a box with a couple of t-shirts and a couple of pairs of socks in it. I've never really been like a clothing guy. I don't really know a whole lot about clothes or fashion or anything like that. But what I did know is that when I bought this shirt, I was really happy with it. I was happy that it could do what they said it could do. And then also the fact that it was just comfortable and didn't wrinkle very much. It just seemed to work out really well. I mean, the idea that I could reduce my wardrobe from that big old suitcase that I was having before down to this small backpack in a really short period of time, that was right up my alley. And this company essentially exists to help people do just that. Now, I should probably mention the downsides of it. There's really only one, and that's the fact that merino wool is just generally very expensive. It's not as available as cotton and polyester. That's why when you go to stores like Walmart, it's really cheap to buy a t-shirt there, but it's more expensive to buy one of these. These things are around 60 to $65. Unbound is actually quite a bit cheaper than most of the other companies out there, and that's the big reason why I ended up buying from them in the first place, but it is a little bit more expensive. But like I said, this is designed to replace a lot of different shirts in your wardrobe. It's a higher quality than your traditional t-shirt. It's gonna last longer, and it just works better. I know this video was a little bit different from my normal style of video, but I figured that the whole idea of merino wool really fits well with folks that are interested in traveling full time or just traveling for long periods of time and who are trying to minimize trying to downsize the things that they have so I hope you guys enjoyed it for those of you following along the journey I am now in Springfield Illinois working on that drone gig that I was talking about doing some drone work for a local production company here I'm gonna be here for about the next two or three weeks and then I'm gonna be getting back on the road I know this video started out in st. Louis and then randomly ended up over here in Illinois but it's just because I was in a little bit of a hurry and needed to get over here to get started with work but I am I'm gonna head back to St. Louis. There's an Amazon locker over there. I've got to pick up some things. So I'm probably gonna do like a travel style video of the area and I'm probably gonna to get to meet up with a few subscribers over there as well. Thanks for watching guys and a special thanks to Unbound for hooking me up with some sweet new shirts. Be sure to check them out. There is a link in the description to their website below. I'll talk to y'all in the next video.